All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the MacLucky Space Solutions mod, which is being made by form user MacLucky. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a small selection of science parts, and frankly, who doesn't love science? So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do have on offer. Now, of course, let's grab ourselves a Mark 1-2 command pod for size comparison's sake, and then head to the search bar to put in McLucky Space Solutions, where we are greeted by five lovely new things, four of which are for science, one, of course, for power generation in a solar panel, and frankly, well, solar panels are a good thing, so yay. Now, it is kind of a small pack for right now, as it is still only in version 0.2 of the mod, so it's still very much in development, but hey, frankly, it's in the add-on release as part of the forum, so it's fair game for videos in my opinion but there is a lot more to come the roadmap for this mod does have things like they hope to add in uh, foldable rover parts maybe things to uh, emulate the rosetta mission as well as some other things but for right now we've got just a small little selection and uh, i quite like these parts as they do have some fun experiments added to them and also some pretty good mod support so let's start by having a gander at the infrared astronaut astronomical satellite, or IRIS, which is a pretty big science experiment and quite beautifully modeled, but <laughs> I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of the texturing on this one. You guys know me, I like stock-alike parts, and that is uh, very much not. The modeling, though, is quite cool, so I don't mind it, frankly, and anyways, it's going to get partially covered up by a cool-looking solar panel, so I can roll with it, but it is overall a pretty cool satellite. The light now as for the stats on this thing it is an unmanned command pod so you can just launch this thing up by itself has its own built-in data transmitter reaction wheel always important sas the expose a mirror science experiment and electric charge of 500 now as for mod support for this particular thing it is compatible with ctt blue dog design bureau as well as tarsier space tech so it's got built-in patches for compatibility with all all of those which is quite cool I always do like when mods integrate with one another and uh, overall very fun little thing now you will notice on the back if we actually grab the solar panel that there is an attachment node back there which is specifically designed of course for that solar panel which is quite cool and I do actually like this curved so solar panel overall and with that attachment point it looks pretty fun when I've added it uh, so far when playing around with these two like end pylons on space stations things like that it's uh, been a nice little fun addition with the curvature to it thing is though for this one it does produce 0.3 electric charge per second but not while it's folded. If we right click, you actually have to open this thing to its uh, sort of flat, I guess, mode. And it's at that point that it will start collecting energy, which is a little bit interesting. I wish it collected while folded away, but oh well, what are you gonna do? You can't win everything. Now the next part we have is, well, the next three are all different variations of science labs to make your space stations a bit more interesting. Now they do have internals, but sadly they're not custom internals. They're borrowed from other various parts. Uh, so the first one we have here is the Mark 1 Space Lab 1M. And we'll just pop that there. Not exactly the most complicated part in the world, but I do actually like the texturing on this one. It's not not exactly stock alike, but I do enjoy it. We got the fun little beaker right there. We got an antenna over here, which, if I do right click, does actually deploy, and that thing is pretty cool. So it is a lab with its own built-in antenna, and as you can see there, there's the data transmission stats for it, and of course, a crew report. Now, as for mod support on this one, it is prepped for the Better Science Labs mod, so that is always nice to see. And uh, yeah, very cool part overall, you know, put in some scientists in there, and you'll be on a roll. The next part we have here is the Mark One Space Lab 2M, which again has its own built-in data transmitter. No fun antenna to pop out though, which I was saddened by, but oh well, it is still a fun little laboratory with, uh, you know, same old, same old things as with the others. It has a data transmitter and crew report. Same with the final one, which is the Mark 1 Space Lab 2M 
eye, and this one's quite cool, as if we right click, it inflates. There we go. And I could frankly sit here and do this all day. It amuses me. You guys know me. I'm a sucker for animation since for some reason this does it for me. <laughs> but a cool part overall and will fit a fairly nice frame of a rocket. It fits, you know, the 2.5 or well, no, rather 1.25 meters sort of uh, width there. So we'll fit on a lot of rockets. This one, of course, being the 2.5. That's what I was thinking earlier. And yeah, so you should easily be able to launch these up to any space station of your choice and again they do have internal views as they do hold different amounts of Kerbals the mark space the mark 1 1m holds two Kerbals the mark 1 2m holds two Kerbals again and the mark 1 2m I holds a total of four Kerbals but they will use just pre-made uh, internals on these which is a little bit sad I was hoping for customs but hopefully those do come in the future I believe for right Right now, the, uh, this one right here uses the internal from the Mark 1 crew cabin. This one uses the internal from, I believe, the lander can. And then this one down here uses the habitation module for its, in or hitchhiker storage container for its internal. Uh, so that'll give you an idea of what goes with what. Now let's actually head out and take a look at a little crappy space station I built earlier just to show all these off in the wild and give you some ideas of what you could create with these beautiful sciency parts. Now again, it is, you know, fun little science labs to add to your space stations, plus uh, <laughs> two different telescopes for this particular uh, setup here, which I don't know why I designed it like this, but I did, and it amuses me because we have this weird bulbous space station. But you know what? I like it. And we can always right click on that and expose the mirror. And apparently, Kerbin's infrared signature spans several planetary radii. You wonder if you can warm your space probe. Hmm. Cool. Cool. <laughs> and then the rest, of course, are crew reports for right now, as I do just have this without the uh, Better Science Labs installed. So it'll just function as any normal crew container with a standard crew report. And, of course, we got the lovely little inflatable bit there. Ah, oh, I do love it. We could toggle the lab if we so desire, but meh. Nothing really to study at the moment in the time being, but uh, yeah, fun little thing. I do enjoy this quite a bit. They are cool parts. Again, not entirely sold on the texturing on this. Hopefully it does get improved, but I do actually enjoy the textures on these other pieces. They are fun, and yeah, that is pretty much it for the McLucky Space Solutions mod. Again, though, it will have more parts as the mod develops further, but for the time being, this is what you got, and it's a pretty fun little set of parts. I like uh, having additional space labs. Anything for more uh, space station parts, I enjoy. I love that they have little pop-out antennas. The solar panels are cool. And inflatable sections, those are always welcome in my mind. So yeah, if you would like to give this a try for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as usual. But that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.